Hey everybody, I'm Joan Miller. Sorry about the late start. We had some technical difficulties as the wind blew my phone over uh, and it had to restart. So we'll be here around 11 o'clock Monday through Thursday and sometimes Friday. But thanks for hanging in there. Um, let's do some lower body today. Let's get on the mat. Okay. So let's start right here with one of my favorites, a low lunge. From here, we're going to straighten out the back leg and bring the hands to the thighs. So we start with a little bit of a stretch here, okay? Stretching in front of the thigh. And on the exhale, we'll come to down dog and stretch the backs. Oh, man, that is good. And then we're bringing the other leg forward, stretching the thigh. Sometimes it's hard to get that leg forward, not to worry. And let's come back to down dog. And let's take it to up dog. Mm. Back to down dog. One more stretch. And then we're lowering to the knees and bringing one leg forward. So from here, we're going to simply come up and down, bringing the hands to the thighs. Knee comes down and up halfway. Inhale, exhale. So it's a low lunge, it's a half lunge. So inhale down, exhale, inhale, exhale. It's nice and easy, it's just halfway up. You're just gently pressing the knee, just touching the knee down to the mat. That's it, so we're really focusing on glutes with this low lunge. We're keeping the knee above the foot, not past the toes, down and up, down and up. So this move is both a strengthener for the lower body as well as a stretch. One of the reasons I love it. Now let's pulse it. Two sets right here, somewhere in the middle. Not quite down. You can tap the knee down if you want. Just be gentle. So one more set here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. You know what? Let's do two more sets. With me? Seven, six, five, four, three, two. One more set. It's eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, yes. That was good. Let's step back to plank and upward facing dog. And downward facing dog. And then we lower the knees. We bring the leg forward. It's the same deal. Hands on the thigh. On the touch down. And halfway up, down, halfway up, down, halfway up. We're, we're really pushing through the heel. That's why I love these so much. It focuses on glutes more than quads. We all want to shape the glutes, right? Two, one, let's do another set now. Eight, halfway up, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and now we pulse. Eight, seven, six, five. Pushing through the heels, spreading the sole of the foot. Three more sets. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're halfway done with these. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, yes. Let's step back to plank. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. All right, so we'll bring it to the knees. So we're going to be on all fours for a little while here. If it bothers your wrist, you can come to the fists or the forearms. All good. So from here, let's straighten one leg out and we're going to try to keep it in line with your body. Now you don't want to arch. You want to keep your abs tight and lengthen from head to toe. From here, we take it down and up. So it's, it's very controlled and we're lengthening through the leg as we do this. Inhale, exhale. It can be difficult to know without a mirror if you're arching. So we got to keep the, the core engaged and the abs contracted. Think about length. 
Think about lengthening when you want to reach out with the toe. Inhale, exhale. Now let's pulse this up. As we're pulsing, we're squeezing the abs so this doesn't happen. There you go. Eight, seven, you're pressing the earth away. It's four, three, two, and now it's down, up, across, and up. Down and up and over. We're breathing deeply. And as we're doing this, we are mindful that the pelvis is squared off. You could put a teacup and saucer on your low back and it won't spill. That's what we're, that's what we're shooting for. We don't want to be all over the place here. We want to keep the abs contracted, the core engaged here. If you find the legs coming way up, that means we're arching. It doesn't have to come up. It just has to be a full contraction. And you can do that by squeezing the glutes. Let's pulse it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, eight, seven, six. All right. Let's finish this side with the infamous mule kicks. In and out. Exhale. So we've got a little core in there as well as we draw the, the knee up to the nose. Exhale, stretch. Exhale, stretch. Two more. Guess what? We're pulsing again here. So you may find as we're doing this leg, the other one, the other hip and glute is getting tired out, which is perfect. That's one of the reasons I love doing it in this position because both sides are getting a workout as well as your core. You keep this engaged. Two more sets. Seven, six, five. Let's pull the shoulders away from the ears. And one more set. Here you go. Eight. Cat's looking at me. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, stretch. Little shimmy side to side, stretching the hip and the glute. Feels good in the low back too. And we're ready for the other side. Now we know it's coming. Hands under the shoulders. We stretch the leg out and we brought it up. Inhale down, exhale. Abs are tight. You'll feel in your back if you start to arch. And if you're not able to get the leg all the way up level with your body, that's okay. Just squeeze the glutes. Our cat Mushu looks at me like she's thinking, what are you doing out there? I'm here taking a nap in the sun. If you were smart, you would join me. But I think this is a good thing here. We're staying home. It's easy to get out of the habit of exercising. So that's why I'm glad that you're doing this with me every day. Just a little something every day. And now we're pulsing. So my theory is we can, we can come out of this stronger than we went in. We're dedicating some time every day to do something. It doesn't take a lot of time. Let's do two more sets here. Eight, seven, six. Are your abs tight? And you're reaching out for the toe? One more set. Really, we want no movement in the body. It's just the leg, the glute is squeezing the leg up. So now we're going down, up. We're going over and up. So as we continue, and if we get fatigued, it's, it's easy to sag. Let's not. So one reason we don't have to do too many is because we maintain really good form. We're lengthening through the toe. We're lengthening through the leg. Feeling this. I hope you are too. Feeling the sweat here in the sun, but it is a beautiful day. Let's do another set. Inhale, exhale, in, exhale. Paying attention to form and visualizing our bodies strong and healthy. It's time to pulse again here. We're reaching out through the toe. We're reaching through the crown of the head. We're pulling the navel into the spine and we're shaping the lower body. Seven, six, five, all right, four, three, two, and now knee comes in, out, in, out. In. That's it. Exhale as you bring the knee in. Draw the navel out. 
to uh, now draw the navel to the spine. Exhale. Two. And one. And then we pulse again. Eight. Seven. Six. Again, pushing the, pushing the floor away here. Let's do three more sets. Eight. Try not to arch the back. Hang in there here. Let's keep breathing for two more sets of eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set now. Eight, seven, six, five, good. Four, three, two, and stretch. Take another deep breath here, stretching the back, stretching the glutes. <sighs> All right. On to an old school move called the hydrant. And all these exercises, these routines, I'm trying to do something that requires no equipment, just your body. You don't even need a mat. You can do this anytime at home. We're back in this position. So keeping the pelvis square, we're going to lift the hips up. Sorry, the leg up to the side. Here's the thing. Sometimes when we do the hydrants, we tend to try to lift it high, but we don't want to lift it high because we don't want the pelvis to turn. Remember, imagine that saucer and teacup right here on the low back. Ooh, a little balance there. So again, we don't have to do this high and we don't want to do it high, but we want to squeeze the hip. Squeeze the hip here. Pushing the mat away. Nice and still, nice and smooth, two, and now let's pulse this up to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So as we're going to be here a little while, prepare yourselves there. Uh, we're breathing naturally, we're breathing normally, we're keeping the abs tight. We're not lifting, not lifting the pelvis right here. It's all we need, right? Feel that? Eight, seven, six, five, oh, this is good, four. Three, how about two more sets here? Think of it just as a little squeeze of your hip muscles. Six, seven, last set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Are we done on this side? No, we are not. Let's turn to face me like so. All right, so now this leg is parallel to the mat, the hands under the shoulder. This is a Pilates hip move here. We're doing little pulses here, little pulses. Oh yes, right there. So as we're pulsing the leg, the body is staying still. The abs are contracted. They're little tiny pulses. I like to imagine like I'm turning on a light switch with my toe. That's how small it is. Because if we go with a bigger movement, this ends up happening. We don't want that, right? We're doing eight sets now. You may find as we're doing these eight sets, and feel it in this hip as well. It's part of the master plan here. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Wow, this is good, right? How about two more sets here? Eight, seven, six, five. Reach with the toe, tighten the abs. One more set. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Let's stretch that hip for a minute by coming onto your side. Little twist. <sighs> Good to be alive today. My flowers are coming up. Can you see them? I planted them in the fall. I just stuck bolts in that pot. And now they're coming up. Nature finds a way, right? I love it. So, you ready for the other side? Good. We're coming hands under or, or fists under the, under the um, shoulders. We're lifting leg out to the side. Exhale. So a lot of these movements are a lot about mindfulness. Most of them, all of them, I guess. Because we don't want to ever just bang out reps. We want to think about the muscles that are working. And we can, we can help those muscles improve, increase in strength if we give them attention. So I'm thinking about the hips right here. <clears throat> as I squeeze this knee up to the side. So rather than thinking about, oh, I'm going to lift the leg up and down, let's think about squeezing the hip. Because when we squeeze the hip, 
it lifts the knee. We get a lot more out of our workouts if we think about the muscles that are working. How about four more singles here? So this side's a little harder because it's already tired from the other stuff. That's okay. We're gonna pulse. We're gonna finish this side, a little stretch, and then we're done for the day. Make sure we do more. I have plenty of these videos on the page. If you look under the videos, there's a bunch of playlists. I have playlists for yoga, for chair yoga, for abs, for core, for lower body. Woo, this is good. How about two more sets here? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right. Now we turn this knee in and we're taking little pulses here. We're doing four sets. That's it. And then we're done. I'm glad you're watching. I'm glad you're doing this with me. If you have any requests, something that you want to work on, or if there's a particular exercise you want to do, please leave it in the comments or message me. We'll definitely get it in there for you. We got one more set here. Eight, seven, six. Let's lengthen here. Four, three, two, one. Stretching the hips right here. Turning and twisting. All right. Let's take one more child's pose. Stretch the glutes and the low back right here. Just put one hand on top of the other and a little shimmy from side to side and breathing. And let's stretch those hamstrings in a downward facing dog. Letting the heels sink. Three breaths. Breathe. And let's stretch the front of the body with an upward facing dog, keeping the legs off the ground, bringing the heart up. All right. I wanna thank you for working out with me. Um, I hope you'll be here every day. I wish you safety and health and every good thing. Namaste and blessings.